Yo, it's your girl Niall and Nate back at it again with another video. But before we get into the video, make sure you like it like right now because why wouldn't you? It's my free period. Anyways, today's build I have prepared for y'all is an attack build, and I'm not gonna lie, it's not even that bad. Actually, it's pretty good in my opinion, and in some ways it could be useful. Now I'm not gonna lie, I haven't used two of the jutsus that's in this build. Ever, but we're not gonna talk about that they still work in my favor in winning my matches so yeah now let's get right into this build okay so for the weapon I'm gonna use the chakra claws and for the ninja tool I'm gonna use kunai now for the clothing stats I'm gonna be using one man army superior immune system and unbending will now for the jutsus I have youthful roar now this is a very useful jutsu for the attack class because it increases your close range attack power and it gets rid of the negative effect Effects. Not to mention, you could also use this to stun your opponents and start your combo. The next jutsu is Frosting Rampage. This jutsu is mad annoying to go against because of the fact that it sends you flying across the map, lowers your speed, and lowers your health recovery. You can link Frosting Rampage into combos, and it also breaks water pillars and sand shields. For the sub, I'll be using Swift Step because it increases your speed and helps you escape faster. And lastly, for the ultimate, I'll be using Planetary Devastation. Now, this is an ultimate that you have to time right because when activated, you charge at your opponent. And if you miss that, then you're done and you miss your ultimate. And I'm sure you wouldn't want that. So time it right. Well, that wraps up the build. So I'm going to get right into the gameplay. Bye!
Chica. 